this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, do you want to know my least favorite word as a software developer? It's deprecated. So today I am coming to you from Ilfracum, which is, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I keep, I keep mispronouncing it, uh, which is a small seaside town in North Devon in England. I'm out here just, you know, with, out here with a friend, just traveling a little bit, seeing, seeing the sights. And I tell you what, visiting a seaside English town in October, I mean, you can see by the, you see the weather is beautiful and the streets are empty, but the hotel room, very cheap. So it's still pretty nice, but yeah, it's, um, it's a bit bit rainy and stuff here today. Anyway, it's nice if you have a chance to visit. Uh, you know, it's a nice, nice inexpensive uh, couple of days. Uh, anyway, so today I want to talk a little bit about something that's been occupying a lot of my time over the past few years, uh, and that's dealing with deprecated APIs. So I had a client come to me recently. They wanted something really small, like a label change. Like, and I, I have this a lot where they got old code base from like 2015. Like, it's not even my code base, uh, but in order to bring it up to scratch, it was like an Objective-C thing. In order to bring it up to, to, to scratch with the latest app stores and everything like that, it was like a whole lot of work. Because at first, you know, you give a ballpark estimate, you think, label change, that shouldn't be too hard. And then you start trying to compile it. And then days later, you're still like, dude, you know, just, you know, it's going to cost whatever. It's going to cost in the hundreds or the thousands just to get this label changed. Do you really, really need it? Now, back when I started in software development, there was kind of this myth with my, you know, where we'd, we'd write something once and it would just always run. Like, and I do have some bits of code out there that run all the time. I got some Google app scripts that just, they continue running and sending me emails and daily reports every day, which I wrote this thing back in 2014. And that's, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But a lot of the things we have, we get an email from Azure or from, Firebase or from whatever backend system saying, oh, we're deprecating this API or we're making these minor changes. You need to bring it up to speed with this and all this kind of stuff. A lot of it has to do with privacy and security, but it's one of these things you have to think about if you're dealing with client projects, because even like you're trying to quote based on the work that you did maybe three, four five years ago uh, and just, okay, I know the code base really well, but you need to make sure you need to put that thing in the compiler, make sure it runs and ideally get it uploaded to Google Play or the App Store if it's an app, um, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's on a server infrastructure, just to make sure that they don't kick up any fuss about it. Um, you know, I, back in the day, I was a big proponent of Ionic, the Ionic framework, because you write it in HTML and it just runs, and it and it the performance was, was decent. But now I can't stand it. Every time I get an Ionic project in, or like an existing code base, because all the, um, the dependencies are messed up, so. It, anyway, I wanted to bring this, you know, it's just been the bane of my existence. I just hate, you know, the pace of technology is so fast that nothing stays the same anymore, you know, and um, it's just something you have to, to deal with and always use Git, use um, or whatever source code repository you use and make sure you check in frequently uh, and have build scripts and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, just checking in with you guys. Um, I hope you're having, you know, being healthy, being safe. Um, let me know what, you, what kind of issues you've had with deprecated. Cause I got a lot of, I got a lot of Google play apps. That I just never even bought, bothered bringing up to scratch with the, um, the latest Android versions, Android 33 and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe. That is it for today. I'll talk to you again next time.